Okay, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk to you about jumper wires and specifically how to create your own jumper wires. So um, you may have seen these uh, little fancy jumper wires that you get in an Arduino kit or other places and they've got these fancy little uh, molded on male ends and they work really well you know to plug into these breadboards they come in various colors various lengths um, however I never seem to have enough of, enough of these and at some point in time you're going to have to make your own jumper wires and it's really easy and especially making jumpers if you want to keep things nice and neat like I did over here where I've got a couple of small jumpers it's really easy to make small jumpers like this and the technique that I've seen beginners use take the wire cut a chunk off to length and then try and hold on to that small piece of wire and strip the ends and it's really difficult to do that even with and these aren't even that great of uh, wire jump wire strippers um, but even with a good pair of wire strippers it, it gets really difficult to to strip the insulation off of a really small jumper like that so a technique that I was taught years ago is what I'll demonstrate to you right now. So on this example piece of wire, if I want to make if I want to make a jumper about, you know, I'll just make it about an inch long, make it or you know, two, two and a half centimeters long. Um, what you do is you first strip off a much larger piece of the insulation first like that and then if you know about what length you want or better yet if you if you know the distance let's say we want to go from this point to that point or, you know a couple different points on the board doesn't really matter the point is you pick your starting and your ending point where do you want that insulation to end then you come back with your strippers and then cut through the insulation and just slide that down and then leave however much wire exposed that you need then cut the other end off and you've got yourself a piece of wire that's the right length and it's stripped on both sides just like that all right another technique i'd like to share is a technique that I use when I need to actually solder a jumper wire onto a circuit board um, because there will be times where you need to correct an error on a circuit board you're making a modification to a circuit board whatever the reason there are times where you need to attach a jumper and I've got another technique for how to handle the jumper as you're soldering it to the board that makes it much easier so let's say we need to add a jumper between this point here and this here. So these two points. So what we do, of course, is we start by prepping our wire, exposing some more conductor, um, you know, decide on the length. I'm going to make it a little bit longer so I can loop it around. I don't need it to be super tight or anything. Well, we've got our length chosen. Now we can carefully cut the insulation and move it down to where we want it to be let's say we'll go there now what I want to show here is before cutting this wire um, you can actually leverage having this wire remain connected onto the spool so rather than cutting off the wire and then coming in with a tweezers and holding it with a tweezers and then coming in with your iron I found it's much easier if you just leave the other end connected for the time being and make your first come in with your iron make your first connection with the wire connected you can hold it and control it much easier that way once that first solder joint is made then you can come back cut the wire Come in with your tweezers, position it, and solder the other end. It's just so much easier, uh, I've found. So that is it. That's my technique for creating jumper wires. If you found this technique useful, 
Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you here next time. Thanks!